critics of the Detroit News, this is The Real Deal, and this week we're talking Inception. My heavens, what a movie. This thing is huge. Um, it's not perfect, but it's darn close. Uh, in terms of blockbusters, there is more innovation and audacity and ambition going on in this movie than I've seen in a, in a big Hollywood blockbuster in quite some time. It's done by writer-director Christopher Nolan. His last movie was The Dark Knight, the Batman movie, made over a billion dollars, obviously, uh, Warner Brothers has given him some money to play with. He's put it up there on the screen. Now, let's try and discuss what this movie's about. It's about action going on in a dream, within a dream, within a dream, and each dream has its own time um, dimension going on. It's nuts, folks. It's simply nuts. Uh, it's hard to describe. Leonardo DiCaprio leads a group of people as they go into uh, this guy's mind. They are trying to plant an idea in his mind. To do, they do so while he's dreaming, and they have to take him into different levels of dreaming. Each level has its own action thing going on. They're all going on at the same time. It's, a, it's an incredible juggling act by Nolan. What's even more amazing is he gets you to buy into this thing, because the whole thing is just crazy. It's, it's so complicated, and it takes such a suspension of disbelief, and yet you do it. You roll with it. Uh, I, I can't say that I understood the movie completely, but I understood it enough to keep going with it. And the special effects are just amazing. Uh, like I say, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, an incredible uh, cast along with him. Um, mainly Ellen Page is pretty much the second person, sort of his, his assistant, along with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. They're the two main people helping him get through all these dreams and uh, accomplish this mission. It's an impossible film to describe other than to describe it as monumental. It's really, really big. Uh, like I say, the special effects are stunning. You know, I mean, they're just eye-popping. Um, and it's the kind of movie, which is rare these days, that you walk out thinking about something, trying to figure out what the movie was about. You have tons to discuss with anybody who else has seen it. Um, this is rare stuff in blockbuster land these days. It's rare stuff coming out of Hollywood. I applaud it. The one thing it lacks is maybe some real primal emotion. It's also intellectualized. It's also... Um, trap within a maze, within a puzzle, uh, that it's a bit chilly. But hey, that's a minor complaint. I gave this movie an A-minus. I implore you to go see it. We'll talk to you next time.